Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to knit an applied eye cord. Uh, an applied eye cord is a great way to add a knit edge to washcloths, blankets, dishcloths, towels, throws, if you don't want to crochet. And in this case, I'm just adding it to a washcloth I had previously done that just looked unfinished. You are going to need two double pointed needles and the yarn of your choice. I'm going to start, I'm, in this case I'm going to do a three stitch eye cord, so I'm going to cast on three stitches and I'm using the long tail cast on method. After you get your three stitches on your needle, you're going to start actually attaching it to your, in this case my washcloth, and I'm going to come in about an inch or two from the corner and using my working yarn, I am going to wrap around and grab that stitch so now I have four stitches on my needle. I'm going to slide those stitches down to the right and um, making sure that I grab my working yarn, I'm going to knit two stitches and your working yarn is going to be coming up from the back end where your tail is so just be careful that you grab your working yarn. So I'm going to knit my two, and then I'm going to knit two together through the back loop. So I added one to make four, and now I've dropped off one, so I'm back to my three stitches. So then I'm going to go into the next stitch and repeat that process. Grab it around, slide my stitches to the opposite end of the needle. Using my working yarn, I'm going to grab and knit two more stitches. And by pulling up that working yarn from the back end, that's how it forms the little the tube, so to speak. So I'm just going to repeat this process. Once again, um, having four stitches, a little thread there, I'm going to get rid of. Um, grabbing, making four stitches by applying it to the washcloth and then on the next row I'll drop off a stitch. So it's a constant add a stitch, drop a, st I'm not drop a stitch, but the knit two together. So I'm going from four to three, four to three the whole time. Once again, making sure that I'm grabbing my working yarn, my working end. There's not an exact science to how many stitches to pick up when you're applying your eye cord. It's just like when you're applying every other edge, um, you know, you might, if you space them out too far, you're going to get a flared um, eye cord. If you, you know, knit them too closely together, if you pick up too many too closely together, you're going to get a puckered washcloth. So you're just going to have to gauge it as you go along. Um, I find that on my cast on and cast off row, I pick up pretty much on a one for one basis, but then on my sides, I probably pick up two for every three stitches um, just to space that out a little bit more. So once again, you're just going to have to gauge it as you go along. The other thing you do is grab your tail and, and see how I've got it, I'm holding it here against the edge so you can wrap that into your cord to finish your piece off nicer so you won't have that, that tail hanging. And you're just going to continue along making your eye cord 
until you get to your corners. And when we get to the corners, I'm gonna give you some tips to make sure that you get a nice crisp turn and not a, a rounded or a puckered corner. All right, so when we get to the corner, here we are, we're at a corner, and we are going to continue on until we get to that very last stitch at the corner. So I'm going to pick up my fourth in that corner, and I'm going to treat this the way I do, where I pull it to the other end, and I knit the first two, and I knit through the back loop together these next two. So I have three stitches. Here's where I'm going to change a little. I'm going to pull those three stitches down. I'm not going to add a fourth. I'm going to pull those three stitches down and knit those three stitches. This is just going to ease it a little around that corner, provide some, some easing. So I knit those three, then I'm going to pick up a fourth in the same hole that I just did the last one. In fact, I'm going to work three stitches into that hole, so it's going to get snug. So this is the second stitch that's being worked in there. I told you it was going to get snug. There you go. So I'm going to drop that, push that down to the other end. And once again, I'm going to knit these two, knit the next two together through the back loop, again, and I'm not going to pick up a fourth again, and I'm going to push that down, and then on this, this row, I'll knit those three and pick up the fourth once again in that same corner that I've done the other two, and it's really getting snug now. All right. So after I've gone through that corner three times, then I'm just gonna knit my applied eye cord as I have been previously. So we're at my three stitches, and then I'll pick up the fourth, but you can see what a nice corner that made. It's a nice crisp corner, not puckering. And we'll keep going this way until we get to the end. And then I'm going to show you how to graft the two ends of your I cord together. So here we are, and you're gonna work, keep working your I cord until the very last stitch below where you started, behind where you started, I guess is a better way of saying that. And I think I've got one more, there we go. All right. So I'm right up against that. So here's where I'm going to graft these two stitches, these two, the beginning and the end of my I cord. Cut off about a foot or two of, cord, of the yarn just to give yourself something to work with. And thread the working yarn onto a tapestry needle. All right, with your last set of stitches still on your needle, Take your thread, and once again, it's coming from the left side, and you're going to pull it over to the right. You're going to go in from right to left, back to front, on that very first stitch on your, on your needle, your knitting needle. And then you're going to gently pull that off, all right? Then you're going to go up to the cord from right when you first started knitting the I cord on the back of it, and you're going to pick up that very first V. And right at the, where the V makes a point there at the bottom, from right to left, thread your tapestry needle through there. And then you're gonna go 
back in the stitch you've just pulled off of your knitting needle in the first step. Once again, from right to left, down the middle, and you're gonna go from right to left into the next stitch on the wooden knitting needle. Pull that one off and repeat. So then you're gonna go to your second V in the I core, second from the back. You started at the back, now you're kind of at the top. Get that down middle of that little part, smallest part of that V, and then go back in the stitch. You're gonna go back in the stitch you just pulled off. From right to left and into the next stitch on the needle. And one more time, you're going to go into the V, the next V, which is now going to be in the front of your washcloth. From right to left into the stitch you just pulled off, from right to left and into the last stitch on your knitting needle from right to left and pull that off. And I am just going to then weave those ends into the body of my work into the rest of the eye cord and just tuck those in. There you go. You can apply an eye cord to any fabric really that um, just needs a little finishing. Hope this was helpful to you. If, to see a, a printable version of this, click the little eye in the upper right hand corner. And um, if you want to see more videos from Nourish and Nestle, click the little nest in the bottom right hand corner. I hope you have a great day. Let me know if you have any questions down below.